Let me record. Okay, I'm recording too. One take two, I guess. One take two. Ah. Second sticks, just in case. Jesus Christ, that was a loud clap, Christopher. Oh, sorry. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Lizzie Gordon. And... Chris. Defer. <laughs> I don't know. Red... Should I Chris, say my whole name? Chris B. Station. <laughs> say your whole name, Chris. Christopher Breitinger. <laughs> Wow. Breitinger. <laughs> Nobody would have ever known that. In California, we say Breitinger. So we filmed a lot of a podcast already and never intro the show. So we'll be back in this car setup in just a quick 20 minutes. Love you lots. Slate in. I'm trying to think if I have anything to say to you. I want to know what the slate says. I need a new slate. Oh, shit. What happened to your slate? It's real broken. What did you do? <gasps> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You, you know? want to go on marker? A lot of you don't know this about Chris, but he has a horrible, violent temper. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I've seen him throw that slate at people. <sighs> JK, JK. You're just oh. trying to do damage control because you're low-key the bully. Uh-uh. Were you a bully in high school? Absolutely. It's, but it's because I'm, I'm not proud of it. I was a sick, sad individual. And I've And apologized. people gave you the hierarchy to be in a position to be bullied by you? I don't think anyone gives a bully hierarchy. I think you have... I mean, well, I guess it depends on what I don't you're think doing. I, I don't think if I was a full-blown ver- bully. Because if it's I don't, verbal... I wasn't a full-blown bully. Okay. <laughs> I would say that there were people that I was nasty to. Okay. And in your 30... 30- <laughs> three years of age i'm not proud of it i'm disgusted by the behavior no i'm just saying like okay i'm sorry (laughs) i'm sorry (laughs) and i'm saying it was your birthday a couple days ago yeah where have you come to in your 33 years of age i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry for everything always and forever what is the what the fuck kind of start is this it's monday <laughs> no i mean uh i don't know i don't know i don't know you've learned nothing in your suddenly i feel years like i know age. nothing i mean i do think that no matter what you always know nothing i've found that a unifying sort of concept is that all of us feel unwell and uncomfortable in our own skin and it can be a lot easier to get along knowing that we're all just God's sick children and we need to be kind to one another as we walk home. Okay. Yeah. I like that. No, I, that's like, it helps me a lot. It's like, oh, someone's being an asshole to me. It's like, no, nope, God's just another sick child of God that I have to love. All those people that don't like the wallpaper in my office, another sick child of God. Oh, really? They don't like the wallpaper? <laughs> I posted my room, my office makeover that yeah. I've been working on for fucking two years. I mean, you guys know. You've yeah, been yeah. there. You've been to Colorado, and every time there's like five new pieces oh, I, of furniture. Oh, I still haven't seen the fucking <laughs> wall, the shelf wall with the desk. And yeah, no, people have very strong opinions about the wallpaper. What? I went bold because there used to be a wood wall there. Like yeah. it was wood paneling, which is like a little bit outdated, but I did like like it mm-hmm. but the, i kept saying like it's dark so i want to replace it with something light and bright and then i did like a, a darker dark more like yeah. opulent wallpaper but i personally love like the bold like print that i feel ties the room together mm-hmm. but there's like so many people that are like the wallpapers no the wallpaper sucks oh my gosh that is hideous well, it's not their office who cares exactly yeah and it we're praying for, for you sick sad souls out there who <laughs> don't like opulent wallpaper to god <laughs> <laughs> we're all just walking home we're all just walking each other home like praying for you you're praying for me like we're sorry you're sorry i get it you know what's funny about i just think about like human behavior i think a lot in my previous room transformations i'm so confident where i'm going the entire time because mm-hmm. i have a plan from the beginning i feel like this time i show my breakdowns about my process not working the whole time Mm -hmm. so that i feel gave people more like room to be mean room to just give their constructive criticism i'm and i'm not taking like you're allowed to not like a bold print so in the years of you doing this i have found myself loathing my office right but it's a few like external circumstances that i am completely out of control of so i've just embraced that my office is a trash room Okay. That being said, I had called Ryland a couple of times and I was like, I need help doing my office. Like, what do you think I should do? My, I like, told what's you your as process? soon as I get here. No, we no, can no, help. no, no. That's not what I'm coming okay, at you okay, for. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is your process? He goes, we just kind of 
just go shopping. We just go shopping and we buy furniture and then we just make it work. We just put it somewhere, we make it work. And it's like that, if that's not raw dogging home design, I don't know what is. And it also, like, when you said this to me, I was like, that's fucking crazy. Like, does that work? But like, no of- measurements. You just throw it and then I'm watching this vlog and I was like, oh yeah, no, this doesn't work. But it, like, this room, I went to one store, mm-hmm. picked up nearly everything. And that's what this room is. And I think this room's beautiful. People weren't mad about this bold wallpaper. So I don't know why they're mad about the other one. Maybe it's softer colors, bigger pattern. Maybe. Yeah. Who cares? Uh, Yeah, I really (laughs) don't. And honestly, like, I welcome the constructive criticism or your thoughts and opinions because Mm -hmm. I think it's like... Because engagement's engagement. (laughs) No, everything's (laughs) ever evolving. And I think it's very fun. There were a lot of people that really did love it, too. I'm, like, harping on, like, a lot of nothing. Yeah. Um... And I've like cut to me in the comment section, like, fuck that wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. You're allowed not to like it. Thank but you. even with like my bedroom, the beauty room, I kind of generate a plan and then it comes together. I think for the first time, this one didn't because I had so many things like there was carpet, which I hate. There were like mm-hmm. shutters that didn't work. There was a wood wall. Like I really didn't commit to deconstructing the room completely before I had started. But yeah. it doesn't really matter. Like, I, I finish what you're saying. Oh, no, I was moving on. You were moving on? Yes. Yeah, so you- oh, I was just going to say, I think like you you need a vision before there can be progress towards something. Right. So like, yeah, you found your vision. And so now we plan our nurseries. Woo! You know what I was thinking for your nursery this morning? What? Uh, very pale yellow. Interesting. Just bright, but pale. Huh. You know? Lizzie's already been sending me her design inspiration for her nursery. And I'm not even pregnant. Do you want to tell me what it is? Mine? Yeah. Like soft, warm 90s vibes, like lived in. Which I like because I feel like all these picture perfect nurseries, they get messy in two weeks of having the baby anyway. I don't think there's anything picture perfect about parenthood, <laughs> just to be completely honest. I feel like all of us have these ideas and like some of us read a lot of books and like we put all of the, and because it's a big deal. It's a really big deal to raise a fucking soul on this earth. I get it. I get why it's a big deal. I'm not belittling the deal of parenthood, but I am saying that I do think putting yourself, oh, sorry, I just coughed something up in my mouth. <laughs> I might vomit. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. See, this is a perfect example of how parenthood doesn't go the way you think it's going to go. And so, like, that's why I want my nursery to be messy like me. Uh, I could die from what just happened to me. I could fucking die. <laughs> so, I feel it on my tongue to this day. What did you eat this morning? I don't want to breathe anymore. <laughs> I had I had avocado toast and scrambled eggs. Okay. Yum. <sighs> okay, let's recap your birthday. Okay. You're <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to move on, but you don't know what just happened to me. What happened? It was like egg came up from my yuck, fucking yuck. sternum inside and protruded through my mouth. And it's like I brushed my teeth and flossed and mouthwash and everything. So I was like, where was this egg hiding? My mouth tastes like fucking cat shit the last 24 hours. And I can't figure it out. Like, you know, how I'm allergic to garlic. You yeah. know, well, allergic. I wouldn't yeah. ever tell anybody that. But like my body doesn't react well to it. I stink yeah. if yeah. I whatever. But this isn't a garlic taste in my mouth, but it's I can't get it out. Shit? I fucking like brushed my teeth i mouth mouth washed i flossed and i still like it just tastes like cat shit for the last 12 hours have you been eating cat shit (laughs) (laughs) is that something you've been doing well no well no okay of course not no cat shit eating no i have no i have no idea then well do you want to talk about your bat shit crazy behavior (laughs) i mean well you're gonna have to enlighten me because like i'm unaware of anything crazy i've done okay it's lizzie's birthday it's my birthday. I pick her up. We're having a grand old time. Mm-hmm. We go to breakfast. We did do that. We're sitting outside. Uh huh. You can take over. Oh, at La Pan Quotidian? Yeah. That was lunch, girl. Okay. <laughs> so we went to La Pan Quotidian and it was lovely. I've been struggling to find what I enjoy on the menu since the lockdown <laughs> and they got rid of my lentil salad. Whatever. I still go. I'm moving on. My new order is the... <laughs> avocado what, quinoa salad. The avocado quinoa salad. Fucking delightful. Arugula base. Arugula mm. base. Scrum diddlyumptious. I add some smoked salmon to it and I do like three things of dressing and it is the bee's knees. And they never bring out her dressing so she has to ask four times and then she can't eat it until the dressing comes out. I will say La Pan is like going on a downhill spiral we have one good server at lapon <laughs> and then sometimes she's just not there and then i'm wondering about like is this is the guy that helped us okay 
He's fine. He's stressed and doesn't like his job. He didn't I seem stressed. I he seemed like he was well. so disassociated that he Would, couldn't I mean, be of course. So was I. I right. almost flipped a table on my last you know, day working he was... there. <laughs> I literally thought, thank God I got a contract somewhere or I would have had to flip this table on this customer right here and right now. Why? What do they do? They're just fucking pissing me off. I mean, as a server, there's yeah. so many times when it's the rush and people are just being such assholes and there's so many things out of your control yeah. that you just have to go to the bathroom and especially in Brentwood that place fucking sucks my worst was actually at Umami Burger at the Grove because it would the Grove also such a touristy place Friday Saturday night so 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 busy I would just have to go to the bathroom and walk myself off of a ledge to not fucking kill somebody that's not the (laughs) saying walk myself off of a ledge do you hear it do you hear how that sounds yeah I'm on the ledge yeah and I walk off of it instead of jumping to my death okay you don't understand I mean, now you do. I mean, it's uh, when you explain it the way you explain it, I get why you think that's the saying. Okay, what do you think the saying might be? <laughs> like, honestly, I can't talk myself off the ledge. Okay. Because walking off the ledge is like you walk off the ledge and into oblivion. <laughs> do you hear what I'm like? I'm going to talk myself I hear what off you're the saying, ledge. But in my mind, it's like the jump. I know. Is to death. The, right. It's and I'm okay. just walking okay. to safety. I know. I know. I like it. I There's like it. Two types of thinking. I totally get it. I used, when I worked in, uh, restaurant business i would hide in the bathroom and my the person that owned the restaurant i worked in was always watching the security cameras there's a security camera in the bathroom no but that's the only place that's why i would go there that's your that safety and, yeah that, that's where you can text for yeah sure. and so well this was pre well i mean it was texting time but it was like a very long time ago and they used to call the fucking work phone and be like to force me out of the bathroom to go answer it <laughs> and i would pick up and they'd be like what are you doing in the bathroom <laughs> and i'd be like are you fucking kidding you can't ask me that you don't know what my life is i could have been shitting but i wasn't you could have been bleeding i could have been bleeding could have been shitting could have been shooting up for all you know okay so mind your fucking business employer we're having a grand old time right this is our best experience we've had in months at la pond the food comes out right it was immaculate living living and then this bitch then this bitch (laughs) gets into her mazda which is part we're sitting outside we're literally like on in the gutter. Boulevard. We're in the fucking gutter of Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. Ryland's sitting like fucking a foot away from this bitch's car. She gets in her car and just sits with it on, idling for an hour and with exhaust pluming around us. This bitch has not got her emissions test because it, it was reeked. fucking rank. It reeked. And I'm just saying thing like, don't people fucking kill themselves this way? Like, is she trying, trying to, to kill, kill us? us? And it was awful. And I like, we should have like, I wanted to tap on her window and be like, um, are you fucking joking? But we're me? looking at her. She's, we're looking at her. She's doing Shoe there. off, foot on foot the dash, up, like, car on, fuck, talking to her fucking Masturbating, agent. watching pornography, having a grand old fucking afternoon while we're dying of her exhaust. Literally. I like, was too mad to knock on the window because I feel like had I done that, I would have wound up like one of those quote unquote Karens that's like viral. So I didn't want to do that. Instant stomach ache, instant headache. Yeah. We're trying to eat. We had too much food to pick up and move. There was nowhere to go anyway. It was full seating. So Lizzie. I airdropped the bitch a message. <laughs> I wrote a message and I said, she wrote hey a girl. Up. I said, hey girl, your exhaust is killing us. <laughs> and then I airdropped it to everyone in the vicinity. And honestly, I think I watched her decline the airdrop. I think I watched her decline the fucking air. <laughs> it was really inventive. And she kept writing other messages. And I was like, Lizzie, I might die. Like, I know she's Well, the he's problem. got no cool either. No. So I'm oh. sitting and he's like <gasps> looking around wide eyed, jaw dropped, like waiting to see if someone gets it. And it's just like, now they know where it it's came because from. She dupes me in public. Like the second we sit down, she's like, the woman behind you is so gorgeous. And I like, Whoa. And then the lady's staring at me, staring at her. And I was like, she was beautiful. (laughs) Was she not beautiful? She was beautiful. I also, not that it matters, but I noticed she was taking huge bites off of her fork. (laughs) Like, but like in a way where it's like, it looks scrumptious, but it's like, that's a big ass bite lady. She's going for it. And I read it straight. So she thought I was checking her out. (laughs) (laughs) Who told you you read it straight? (laughs) Who told you? (laughs) I'm just living my life. Okay. (laughs) Living life. Living life. Um, okay. Hmm. And that brings us to your birthday party. Yes, it does, doesn't it? I am astonished. By what? Uh, at how you, you can be. <laughs> I applaud it, honestly. Like, I don't think that I could be as free as you while drinking. And you're sober. <laughs> what is your beef, bro? I don't have beef. I'm honestly I, That was me awe. contained. Like, it's can you... I just say, I was disappointed 
that no. nobody wanted to scream I'm seeing Hedwig in the Angry Inch with me. No so one. Not a single soul. She has a theme of a movie that nobody's ever seen before. <laughs> He's Chris seen has it. seen it, but like, whatever, you two. I could perform the whole thing right now if you want. It was a beautiful, like, it Don't looked- you know McKenzie City <laughs> on the new Berlin Wall? But- Try to tear me down. No, 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 no. My point is, what if I just keep it's going? impressive that you have collected such a group of people and you're so okay being so authentically your sometimes embarrassing self I don't around think I'm everyone. <laughs> I think I'm beautiful. No, but I'm saying I like I'm inspiring. a lot of people like shape shift around who they're at or they have different like oh, I physically faces can't. or masks. But no, Lizzie's just like scream singing in her beautiful voice. <laughs> no, that was at contained. The top of I, was her lungs, con- I was contained. Just like flailing I was, around. I was contained. <laughs> while her fucking dog's trying to murder me. Okay, why was he trying to kill you? Were you growling at him? Do you want to tell the audience that you were antagonizing my sweet boy? I can't help but try to just like be his big he, brother and irk him a little. You know, like when your big brother just has to. Like, I'm not going to say Rylan kicked my dog because if he did, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> but he did put his foot on him. No. Yeah. Look, so, Here's Bud. Uh, no, 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 Here's no, no, your no, no, foot. No. You went like this. I tried making friends with the monster. I, I was feeding him carrots. <laughs> All was going well. The whole time he's doing it, he's like, fuck you. I'm fuck giving, you no, no, fuck no, no, no. You. I'm giving him sneaky touches and it's working. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I moved too quick and he started growling. So I looked back and I went, Rrr. no, he starts with growling. And then Rylan we got into a growling. full blown war. <laughs> and then Lizzie has to pick Bubs up. Then I have to pick Icarus up. No. And, and that's say, the like, other Look thing. Icky loves me, Bubs. Uh, no. Rylan has a weird fucking way of picking my dog up. That oh, makes my me gosh. Uncomfortable. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Joe was loving it. <laughs> <What's he laughs> Everyone else at the party was loving it. Well, Icky had his harness on, so Rylan keeps grabbing him by the harness. No, no, chain. no, no. no. Like, I'm going from the harness and then belly. It felt like and he was trying to. He was <laughs> bouncing him like a baby. And Lizzie got me a cake. I did. I got Rylan a cake. I do love birthday. that you love your godson, Icarus. I do love him. He's so sweet. If anything were ever to happen to you, I did Zick. He comes with Bobo. Up, oh, no, I don't get him in because Bobo is Icky's favorite thing in the whole world. I can't have bubs. When I can't get Icky to do what I want him to do, like come or like sit or like stop shitting in the house, I use <laughs> I use Bobo as the, the 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 best treat he could possibly have. Um. So yeah. So we got a cake. Rylan got to eat it too. Uh, took some home with me, which some. felt real weird because nobody else was even eating the cake, let alone like. No, we ate the cake. No, people were eating the cake, but I'm like bagging the cake up <laughs> and like walking away with it, saying bye to people I've never met. Like, he's like, I'll, I was like, take a slice home to, to Shane. He's like, yeah, I will. He's like, maybe I should take five <laughs> slices. I took two. I'm gonna take a slice for Shane and then three for me after. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, mm-hmm. so you got in a fight with your husband, or you're in love with your husband? <laughs> I mean, I'm in love with him. Well, you said he's in his clean boy era. Yeah. But that's a far contrast from what I got. Well, because this morning I woke up and he had cleaned the kitchen and done the dishes. And he had loaded the dishwasher the day before. And so there were clean dishes in the dishwasher that I just had to put away, which was really, really nice. I do have to say he's got an insane idea about what belongs in a dishwasher. <laughs> and he packs it like a maniac. What but I'm glad that he is packing it because in the past he would just take dishes out of the sink and put them on the counter. You know Shane's outrageous which is claim? Which crazy. Shane's outrageous claim is he doesn't know how the dishwasher works. None of us know how a fucking dishwasher works. You put the fucking soap in and you press buttons until it locks and starts steaming. Grow the fuck up. Do you know how your dishwasher works? Hell yeah. Well, because you press the buttons. You didn't come into this house knowing intuitively how to turn your fucking washer it's on. It's pretty easy. There's an yeah. on button and you, you just can say look pro at it. scrub, high scrub, yeah. hot scrub. Joe's been using a fucking exercise bike that the entire control panel is in Japanese for longer than I've known him and he cannot figure out. <laughs> How to use our in English washing machine. <laughs> it just, it blows my mind. Or dishwasher. And whatever. Shane's like, we didn't grow up with the dishwasher. And I'm like, I understand, but you've had one for the last decade and a half. Yeah. So grow up. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Like I, I couldn't get the, so it, in our dishwasher, it has a bottom rack, a middle rack, and then a top rack for That's like bush. silverware. But I couldn't pull the middle rack off the silverware rack this morning. And I was like, what is stopping Nothing this? Nothing will make me more mad. Well, then I realized somehow... My husband has wedged in the largest plate we have to the very back of the top row. And I was like, how did he get it in there? (laughs) Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. 
It doesn't make any sense. And why would he put it there when there's a huge bottom row, which has like an entire like when you look at a washing machine it or a dishwasher, like it's fairly intuitive where you put the shit. We're pretty old to be talking about dishwashers but for it's, five minutes. Yeah, but when your husband's 40 fucking one going on 40 fucking two and he's stacking a dishwasher this way, it's wild. He put our cutting board in it, too. And our pots and pans in it. Uh, and I'm guilty of the pots spoons. and pans. I get it once in a while, but he's always doing it. Right. Which is crazy to me. I love a good deal. And that's why I am so excited that today's podcast is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Thanks to Honey manually searching for a coupon code is a thing of the past. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart at checkout. So imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. And when you go to checkout, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. You wait seconds and if there's any coupons that are applicable for that site, you'll watch as the prices drop. Recently, I've been shopping for home decor online. I know when I'm up at night, it's like I just want to go shopping and I spent over $130 and saved $13 when I checked out thanks to Honey. And Honey doesn't just work on desktops, it also works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. So if you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out on savings and by getting it you're not only doing yourself a solid while saving some money but you're also helping to support our show so get paypal honey for free at joinhoney.com slash sip that's joinhoney.com slash sip you gotta love hellofresh and i'm so thankful to them for sponsoring our podcast flavor is in full bloom at hellofresh you can enjoy the taste of spring with chef crafted recipes featuring ripe seasonal ingredients delivered right to your doorstep hellofresh does more than just delicious dinners not only can you take your pick from 40 weekly recipes, but you can choose from over 100 items to round out your order from snacks and easy lunches to desserts and pantry necessities. Everything arrives in one box on the delivery day you choose. And absolutely no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. Hello, I'm talking to myself. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and are easy to prepare in just a few steps. It's easy, fun, and affordable. And that is why it's America's number one meal kit. I know you know I love HelloFresh on a stressful week. It takes the guessing game out of dinner. I go downstairs, I open my fridge, and I know that I can have a healthy, delicious cooked meal. So go to HelloFresh.com slash the sip 16 and use code the sip 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash the sip 16 and use code the sip 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. And you already know we also work with Green Chef, who is now owned by HelloFresh. So with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I personally love switching between the brands and now all of you can enjoy both brands at a discount with me and we're back <laughs> <laughs> well first of all we're driving to starbucks to test viral tiktok drinks whatever that means are you fucking yawning right now <laughs> yeah, dude. get a life i'm egg sick what do you i'm want trying from to me? do something different for our show to keep it alive <laughs> to keep us employed to keep people interested and you're yawning i like the employed part uh, we won't be soon <laughs> I just can't even tell Lizzie, if I'm in frame. Please. You're in frame, okay. and they caught you yawning. Is that the drive-thru? Can you just chill? Is that the Starbucks? <laughs> Can you just chill? Did we just pass it? Elizabeth? Is that the one you were thinking about the, by Kaiser in a gas station? Can you focus? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to need you to execute something before we get to Starbucks. What am I executing? Now, my stomach's turning just thinking about this. What? But an old trend on YouTube used to be like calling out from jobs I don't have. You want me to do this while we're driving? Hell yeah. <laughs> Why? Can we park first? No. Okay. <laughs> so where are we going to work today? <laughs> where are we not going to work today is the real Should question. we like throw it back? You worked at Gap too, right? We both no, used, I just left oh. the Gap, but I'll call out and work at the Gap. That seems fitting for me. Like, I used to work at the Gap. You got to do it on my phone so it comes through the car. I used to work at JCPenney. I'm like, literally, my stomach's turning just thinking about this kind of concept. Seriously? Well, you know my phone password? It's the same as mine. No, it's not. It's off by one number, but it's it's the same as mine. How That's you, how I know it. How well, you know that? We've talked about this, actually. Oh. He just has no memory. Uh, which is crazy because I've told you my garage code and my gate code and eight care. million times. And every time you're like, how do I get into the house? If it was the same as my passcode, I would know it. Well, just make your passcodes the same as mine. No. Uh, okay, so which gap are we working at? I'm the Grove? I'm the gap. Does it have to be the Grove? No. I really have a high-tech uh, car set up here. <laughs> Sorry if the camera's making you nauseous. I'm nauseous. Of course you are. Are you pregnant? I'm pr I think I'm just egg sick. It's... That is the world's no, how do you first 
person. Just Google Maps. <laughs> Go to Google Maps, oh, Elizabeth. Google Maps. And then hit call. I was like, it's just showing me shit. It's crazy that gap. we're adults in the same world. Do you know how like, hard it is? I pride myself on being someone that's kind of stupid. <laughs> but like you take some things to new heights. Jesus Christ. I'm not calling the one at the grub, I'm just calling the person that pops up because I'm too egg sick for your shenanigans right now. Are you supposed to call on my phone? Bitch, I need a god damn. Oh my gosh. And now we're almost to Starbucks. So you gotta I hurry. told you it was dumb as fuck to do this while driving. I can't do this while I'm driving. Show your monkey ass out. But it's like, get it together. I, Chris, well, how's you your day? How's your day, Chris? Where's your fucking Google Maps? Google How's Chris's day? Oh. Where is your Google Maps? On the top, like a normal it's person. It's not normal. <laughs> Nothing about you is normal. You're the least relatable person I've ever known! Do you mean it? Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Although I'm dying to be Gwyneth. <laughs> yeah, you love that you're not relatable. <laughs> I am relatable. Shut up, I'm calling my work. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, oh I didn't gosh. block the number. I can't block the number that way. That's why no, I had it on my phone. Now you have Because I have to type in star six seven, you fucking idiot! Okay. I had a plan and you derailed it because you're a bitch! Can you imagine the caller ID just says Ryan Adams? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, bitch! You're the fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened this to your is plan. Such a shit you happened! Okay, while you're dialing the number, Chris, how are you? I'm no one cares, just kidding. I appreciate you and this job. You're not gonna lose your job, Chris. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> I need this so bad. Shut up and call my work. I could die. Should we screen Shh, record? Ask call? for the manager. Thank you for calling. Hi, I was just wondering, can I speak to your manager really quickly? Um, give me one second. I'm gonna put you on hold. May I ask who's speaking? Liz. I'm sorry? Liz. Okay, give me one second. Why was that my fake name? It's my name. It's my real name. Hit mute if you're gonna talk. Why did I say my real name? <laughs> Why did I say my real name? Just go with it. When the manager gets on the phone, say, Hey, X, it's Liz. I know I'm on the schedule for today, but I really just am feeling so nauseous. Faint. I might be pregnant. I'm literally going to faint. <laughs> I didn't think I could do this. <laughs> Hi, it's Liz. I know I'm on the Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm okay. I know I'm on the schedule for today, but I can't make it. For today? Yeah, I the craziest thing happened. I was making a smoothie and I thought it was off. So I reached in to grab one of the strawberries because it was like stuck on the blade and it just went off and my hand is just gushing blood. So I can't come in today. Oh my god. I know. So, what time are you in? I think I was supposed to work at 1230, but I'm just I have to go to the hospital or something, like I can see bone. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh, who is, Lee, uh, I don't have Lee, who is it? It's Liz. 12, 12.30? Yeah. Okay, let me grab the, let me grab the, uh, the schedule. Okay. Wait, one second, please. Okay, oh. she comes back. I'm in the middle of a crisis and she needs to grab. I just said I can see bone and she's grabbing the schedule. Is, so I go back and forth on this because it used to be popular. But I'm going to die mean? right now. I didn't even know my head is light and I feel like I'm dying. I think you just have to say, oh my gosh, where, what company is this? And you're like, I don't work here. I work at fucking Jamba Juice or something I else. must have lost a lot more blood than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to hell for this? Oh. This doesn't feel good. Or you just have to say like, I don't know, can we buy her something? Or We gotta feel like You're we're sorry. Like Chris in Vegas all over again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to bed like having a lot of I'm trauma I'm gonna get a FaceTime at 5 a.m. Did we do her wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh. wow. Well, we made it to Starbucks. Should we just go through the drive-thru while I deal with this? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the drinks for me? Oh fuck, I'm in charge of that, aren't I? You should be like, I'm on the way no, to the hospital. I'm on the way to the hospital, but my boyfriend's ordering Starbucks. <laughs> the Starbucks is on the phone. I'm on, I'm um, on hold on. I can't believe I'm on hold. Girl, she can't I told find her I Liz. Can see bone. We work here. And she's like, let me find the schedule. You are so creative. Yeah. You should be a writer. I am one. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry that I just demoralized you like that. Yo, how about that I'm like legit allergic as fuck to eggs? Okay, while we're waiting for her, maybe we should get into some hot topics. Okay. So you said that Megan Trainer's uh, BFF isn't real? 
No. What? So Megan Trainer and Chris Olsen have been going like viral on TikTok for being like best friends that like went to fucking theater camp together and are hanging out all the time. He's like he's an employee. She hired him. They're not real friends. And they conjured up a story. Well, yeah, but they were the joking, and I guess that was a quote TikTok trend. But it's not a TikTok trend. Chris just keeps lying about being related to people. He's like, I'm Uncle Chris, like to others, this other TikTok girl, like we're brother and sister. And it's like, they're not. And they like doctor photos. But then they like, they say that they've come forward and said that they're not. And I'm sure they have. I but thought like, they just worked together and knew each other growing up. They don't know each other growing up. That's the lie. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the weirdness. That is weird. Is there a lie like us about that? Like, are we, j I feel like it's a pretty no. easy lie to fall into. Like, I'm not going to like ruin their lives Like, you this. never worked at La Pan and I never worked at the Press Juice. <laughs> we should go to the Press Juice. That's what we should be doing right now. Oh yeah, people want to watch us drink green drinks. <laughs> well, we should, going back to the scene of the crime where it all began. I'm dead, by the way. Four minutes. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> We're gonna, okay, the Kardashian trailer does look pretty lit. And here, here's what I'm going to say. I think they should fire whoever approved the first version of the first trailer when they were sitting on the gold that they just released. Right. Like, bonkers. Blows my mind out of this world crazy because this looks like some hot business. Oh my god, the fights? I? But first of all, the fact that Courtney is like, you used my wedding to do business. I think... <clears throat> Courtney, your wedding doesn't exist without your sister doing business. I think Courtney's life is defined by her sister being famous forever. Hang on, I'm Courtney's, throwing up eggs. Stop it. I can't. But Courtney's <laughs> finally having her moment. And she's like, of course. So you're Kim. team Courtney? No, I'm not team Courtney. I think Courtney needs to get the fuck over it. Yeah. But I think like with you're their family shouting. <laughs> I'm pretty heated up about okay. this. And I saw a lot of people being like, the Kardashians are over. Like they're losing relevancy and popularity. I'm like, you fucking bitches all love them just as much as you always have. Do you think that right now she's being told by her team that Ryan Adams just called <laughs> and that there's a trend where people that four years ago, there was a trend where people call out of sick from jobs they don't have. And she's just gonna leave me on hold because she's in on the joke now. So you What your team Kim or team Courtney? I'm team Kim. I mean, I think everyone is which is what drives Courtney crazy I think it's more of like a public narrative that like Kim is the famous one and then Courtney gets her moment and it's derailed by Kimberly I don't think it was derailed. I think then, she, she had a whole fucking series on Hulu about her fucking wedding that nobody asked for because we'd already seen it. I just think like if Kim made all of her wedding obligations, who cares if she did business while she was on the trip? Not I, so like fried. if she if Kim was working another job, and she it was a remote job, she'd log on her computer to do work when she wasn't doing wedding obligations. Yeah. I don't think the problem is that she did work there. I think that the problem was that she was using it as an opportunity to network with the people who were hosting the wedding. Oh. Uh, oh, you didn't get that. And then the only you thing I really found... You thought she was just pulling her phone out to work? No, I, I thought she did like a full-blown gig while she was there. No, she birthed the gig there. She hustled there. She used the wedding as an opportunity to hustle. Gotta love Kim. Gotta <laughs> love Kim. If Kim hadn't sucked and fucked the famous out of Ray J and passed it down to Courtney, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So Courtney, chill, just be chill grateful, out. grateful, Courtney. And I love that, of course, like the only thing... Are you Kendall, in a crazy you just position hold right on? now? You're just the literally only, sideways in a old, gas station. I talking. am prioritizing the lighting. Oh my God. The only thing Kendall and Kylie can add to that trailer is... I see both sides. And then Kendall, I, I see, see both sides. sides. Oh, my hand's stuck. That's literally the only thing that they said. Uh, I That's more than they've ever said. To be <laughs> fair, that's more than they have said since they were eight years old on this show. Okay, and then Kylie drops a bombshell that she doesn't, she regrets all of the work that she had gotten. Yeah, she for the first time she wants the family to consider what they're doing to beauty standards and she wishes she had never done anything to her body, but it's like, I get it, and you continue to do things. Well, that's, yeah, all the comments were like, Kylie, Kylie, queen, queen, queen. And I'm like, but her baby's going to look like a Kardashian. Well, they're going to be cute as hell. Of course. Yeah. They're already hella cute. Definitely. Stormy's still my favorite car Jenner. We've all been there. You finish cooking your meal only to realize your avocados have gone bad or that hot sauce bottle is empty. It's a tragic affair, but luckily you can try grocery delivery from DoorDash. You'll get everything you want delivered when you need it right to your doorstep. I know you've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what 
what you ordered or DoorDash will make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you picked them out yourself. And if you want even more value, you can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. With easy substitutions right in the app and best in class customer support, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. So get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $10 value when you use code SIP2023 at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's 50% off up to a $10 value on a 15 minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code SIP2023. Don't forget that's code SIP2023 for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. All right, this whole Sydney Sweeney cheating debacle. So, so the, the I just don't know if we're lit. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to make sure everyone even can... crazier position. This is wild <laughs> behavior. This is like this is like not cool. I, I think just wish I could do, tell. Here's what I think we do. We go through the drive-thru, we get our drinks, and then we continue with the hot topics. Oh, this is nice lighting. Let's get in the you cannot You just, told me you can't get in you're the drive in an electric with your car at a gas pump! <laughs> you cannot even, do this! I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. No, get in line, we're getting our beverages. So Lizzie's all convinced. Eight minutes of me just free bleeding with bone fucking showing. Do I, I think we I have to give up, up on her? Okay? What if she does come back? Should I, I call just back? Just leave her down here. Do while, I call back? Leave it down here while hey, we talk. before I go to the hospital, I just wanted to make sure I had my bases covered. <laughs> can we just talk about Sydney Sweeney for a second? Yeah, can Did, we? No. Oh, oh. I was going to... I was impulsive. If that was an impulsive choice. It's like when okay, I... Okay, whatever. I'm, You're dead to me. I can call her back. <laughs> hey, just checking in on you. Okay, so the world thinks Sydney Sweeney is cheating on her fiancé with her now co-star. The co-star has been confirmed to break up with his girlfriend after it looks like the two of them are in a whirlwind romance. And what I love the most about this is that, like, the messages in the tabloids have been, like, pictures of Sydney Sweeney's boyfriend, or fiancé, excuse me, with, a, like, a bunch of shit leaving the house. Like, his golf clubs, the dog, the dog bed suitcases. Okay, Lizzie, no, 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 I have to preface this. Lizzie sends me a text message of it, and I was like, first of all, don't know who the fuck this guy is. Didn't know who his girlfriend was Just either. Just know him doesn't mean he didn't get cheated I'm on. I'm sure he's much more popular than me. But the thing is, this girl that's, like, a floating head on TikTok is like, now this is an example of a man who's been through the ringer, like with the dog, and he, it looks like he's moving out. And I literally texted Lizzie back and I said, no, he's probably packing up the shit to go visit Sydney wherever she's on location filming. Cut to the next day, him and Sydney are out in New York City on a date. I'm like, all of you guys are trying to make something so crazy out of just a little bit, which I will say, I agree with one of the commenters. I was watching videos about it and the lady was like, if I was engaged to be married, I would not let another man hug me and touch me like that, but it's none of my business. Yeah, I mean, it's wild how touchy-feely they're being with each other. There's, like, one picture where she's straddling his lap and laying back, and he's supporting her, and it's just, like, it's fucking weird. Because it's not a press photo. It's a private photo of them on a couch somewhere I on th Instagram. I think Sydney's playing this fame game wonderfully. This I wasn't think... even what I wanted to talk about with this topic, by the way. What did you want to talk about? I love that you're now, like... Uh, you're, you're like your baseline? your baseline marker for if a guy is going through a hard time with a breakup is a picture of Taylor Swift's ex Joe. Yeah, so so Rylan sends me a picture of Joe and he's like, this is a man who's going through it. Well, yes, because like the first photo of Joe that was like paparazzi post breakup he is bags a man under his eyes in distress. Like this man, he has nothing but bags under his is eyes. Is the definition of somebody who's been through the mental ringer. Like they are. Dead. And so when people are saying Sydney's fiance has gone through the ringer, I'm like, take a look at Joe Allen, ladies. How do you know his last name? Because. What's his last name? I'm a Taylor Swift super fan. <laughs> okay, let's get our fucking Starbucks refreshers before I jump out of this moving vehicle to vomit up some eggs. Oh no, I don't know how I'm gonna ever get back there. I'm sure you'll find a way. Sorry, this car's gonna hate me. Oh, well. Oh, it's another Tessie. They hate me. They hate him. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just gotta do me. Just gotta be me right now. I'm in my me era. <laughs> <laughs> it's something new for me. I'm just trying it out. <laughs> I love how you're like, Lizzie, I could never be as me as you are you. <laughs> yeah, and but then cut to 
bus. I'm in a safe in a space. Fucking, you're not in a safe space. You're in a moving car at a gas station that also has a Starbucks drive through This is probably the least safe space you could have picked to do you. <laughs> See, well, I'm fine doing me in small groups of people. If there's more than like two, like literally, I really like your friends, but I show up at your birthday party and it's like I can't be a human anymore. Why? They're like, hi. I'm like, Hey! <laughs> Who's the problem there? Nobody's a problem. I'm socially awkward unless I'm really close with somebody. Right. Because I don't practice social skills. That's so sweet, the realization. You and I, like, the camera's more, like, easier to converse with. Dark! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Is what's this where I order? Let's find out. I think so. Oh, hello. Do you know what I'm getting? Yeah, open your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your just one second. Just don't be so shy. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be kind of annoying. I'm sorry. Could I get a grande matcha pink drink? Are these things I have to explain? Yes. Oh Is no. Grande pink drink? No. Matcha Uh, yeah, the pink drink. Oh shoot, it's like a custom thing. Wow, I'm the worst. It's like a, you said matcha pink drink. Right? Just yes. read the phone. It tells you exactly what to say. And then can I get the strawberry cheesecake frappuccino? That one, is, I can only make if you have a recipe for me. Okay, so it's the strawberry cream frappuccino. Okay. Two scoops of milk powder, three ounces of white sauce, and two ounces of cinnamon dolce syrup. It's pronounced dolce. Got it. A grande with whipped cream. Uh, it literally yes. yeah, it says how can I order, and then there's a quote for you to read. Oh, okay. Could I get um, so they're saying order it like a grande mang mango dragon fruit refresher with no water and then add peach juice and two pumps of raspberry. So for me, it's I that there's literally us. a thing that says on the screen grab, I've handed him that says how you order, direct quote. Can I please get? You act like you've never been to a drive-through ordering, no, and then the stress act comes like over you've your body. Never been to a drive-through ordering. When, when this is all you do. Somebody's. This asked... is the only thing you do in the world. Okay, you're fighting in public with me. No, <laughs> I'm just saying. Can Am I wrong? Yes, you're what wrong. What else do you do in public? Can Furniture just... shop and Target. <laughs> this is the last. I gotta episode. leave. I'll see you guys no. Later. I tried to do something to bridge a gap. I'm stressed. Yeah. Thank you. You know what? I would like to personally apologize to Chris. No. On Rylan's you behalf. act like you. To Chris. Because Rylan no. is making the this audience knows experience. that you're mean to Chris. I'm You've <laughs> always been mean to Chris. Chris, am I mean to you? Yes. You can speak. Chris, the am I mean to you? You can speak. Chris, am I mean to you? Oh my God. Speak. No, you sure. know what to say right now. <laughs> Chris, am I mean to you? Have well, I ever been? No, never. Not once. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I'm just. I'm angry. I'm egg sick. <laughs> I'm egg sick and it's making me I'm crazy. Saying, like you get to the drive thru. Yeah. And then when there's a crazy order and you already feel bad because you're awful, uh -huh. the last thing you want to do is say, hold on, let me read the instructions right. so that I can give you a cohesive thing. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm panicking because mm -hmm. it's a fucking essay of what I have to order. Well, it's, it literally says how to order. Uh, hey. Okay. Do you, hey. you could have volunteered to drive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hey, hey, Zeus knows this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is pretty. Thank you. Do we apologize to Hazus? Yeah, I think you need to apologize to all of them. I'm not apologizing to anybody. <laughs> you need to. For anything, ever. Hmm. I'll apologize. I will apologize. <laughs> Joe's saying I need to switch. This is disgusting. I told Joe I think I might be allergic to eggs. I'm like throwing them up. He said, what the fuck? I said, it's disgusting. He said, you could switch to turkey eggs. They are huge and yellow. Grainy, but good for you. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up at the description of the eggs. The last eggs. three Mondays you've been here, you're like, I had eggs for breakfast and I'm sick. Joe said, I've seen people do it. I said, you're sick. <laughs> Anyways, you know, Chris, I'm so sorry you feel like I bully you. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. Oh, you didn't say that? No. He feels Look it. louder for the people on the... I'm so sorry, I'm really big fans of you guys. Oh. I heard you oh. earlier, and I was just like, oh my oh. god. And I saw you, and I'm like, I know her, and I'm like, I know you. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hi. we're being the worst. We're, oh, we're recording right now, just so you know. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, this sounds like Ryan. And I'm like, <laughs> Much of it. I'm like, that is so cool. But, anyways, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Esther. Esther. Nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Have a great You too. Nice to you too. She's so cute. And you're awesome. Thank you so much. Happy to thank you. You too. I love Esther. I love that she knows your name is Ryan. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, 
So I just want to do a quick recap. <laughs> oh God. Chris has said I've never been mean to him. I heard yeah. it out of his own mouth. It's like telling your abuser to their face that they abuse you. <laughs> like <laughs> He's in a wow. bad, toxic place. He needs to blink you twice. Know what? Blink twice then, Chris. <laughs> okay. Did they give us multiple straws? I no, know. they didn't. Sounds like Chris is going in and getting a straw. No, stop it. I can't get straws. No, Chris. You Chris stay offered. Put. I'm Chris not doing offered. much and I'm stressed. No. I can't get straws. Is there straws in there? No, but there's a comb. Okay. I really, I really don't mind. It's right there. You stay there. Okay. Remember Chris when Chris was saying remember? last night? He's like, my favorite thing is when we're scheduling the two of you fighting. <laughs> Every and now he doesn't want to be in the car with it. Before we shoot, the day before you text to confirm that we're gonna shoot, and it always ends up with you and Lizzie going back and forth fighting. It's yeah, but so here's funny. let's let's be real. Like, are we ever actually? No. No. Don't it's shake funny. it up. Don't shake it up. <laughs> okay. What is this? That is the pull out your phone. <laughs> That Not is the, the green drink. tea pink drink. That is this the matcha pink drink. This looks bomb diggity. This is our version yeah, of cool. the... Uh, Should we take pictures of it? This is our version yeah. of the... What the fuck was this? Sugar Kids? Shower Patch? Babies? Can you turn it so I can see TikTok it? rose gold refresher. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. No, we did not get the TikTok rose gold refresher. Yes, we did. Oh, we did? Okay. Wow. wow, this matcha is like throffy. Um, we might need straws. Lizzie, can you go get mm. them? Chris and I gotta talk shit about you. Are you you guys gotta record a podcast. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Thanks, Chris. Sorry you get bullied at work. <laughs> <laughs> right into it, advice though. Maybe we'll help you. <laughs> so toxic! I'm doing a bit. It's a bit. I'm, I'm gonna this taste morning. this. And <laughs> and that is nothing but sugar, and I feel like Chris is gonna love it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it packs a good punch, though. It's delicious, and it's too much. It's very sugary, but it's very delicious. My stomach is burning. Chris, do we have the drink for you? What? Which one is this? Wait, that's the rose gold. Is that enough? Should I have gotten more? That's the rose gold. No, that's fine. Okay. This is the rose gold. Wow. I think that's going to become your beverage. Yeah, that's for you now. Oh, I love that. It's so good. Whoa. I knew he'd love it. Okay, the pink wow. drink matcha. Oh, at the same time, come on, girl. No, I wanted to take a slurp off the thing oh, so that I get the cold foam and the pink drink below. This is you know really what I'm saying? Good. Whoa, what did you just do? I worked my way up through the drink. Oh, you did a reverse. <laughs> How'd it go? Mm, wow. Oh my gosh. Should I do that reverse? I understand why TikTok is obsessed with these. They're so good, but one of them, and you're like gonna have to take a five hour nap for sure. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow. Wow. What's in the rose gold? The matcha mixed with, mixed with the foam. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, that's good. It's delicious. Okay. And it the good. best part about this is the matcha, like, combining with the whipped cream. Yeah. So when you, you just are trying to move too fast. No, but it's, it's when you lick your straw and then put it back into the communal cup <laughs> that you lose me. Okay, Chris, you might not want to try this anymore. <laughs> but I don't have COVID, okay. I promise. But it's so good. Like, we might have to go back and get another one for you. Let's definitely go back and do that again. <laughs> Mom. Here you go, Chris. I'm good with this drink. It's okay, good. that will be mine. Okay. I'm obsessed with that drink. Yeah, let's go back and get another one because this is going to be mine. I can, oh. oh. Because you were like, I am into the strawberry fucking cheesecake. And what's cheesecake. this? Just a fucking strawberry drink? Strawberry cheesecake frappuccino. This is sick. Is it? Is There's no way it's sick. Mm -hmm. I won't oh, do no. the crazy stuff this time, Chris. I mean, that doesn't require oh, crazy no. stuff. Whoa. I guess it's it's more vanilla than it is. What's the weird taste? <laughs> what's cinnamon. the aftermath? It's cinnamon. You don't need okay. That one. <laughs> no, I pulled out clean. I right. sipped I while I pulled. Out clean. I made sure that I did not get. I in. pulled out clean and made sure I just netted on their back. Where is the lid for this, my buddy, my friend? I think it was easy to please. There's chunks in there. Yeah. It's just a strawberry. Yeah. It's okay. What do you think of that one, Chris? I like it. <laughs> I'm very easy to please, though, but I think it's tasty. Oh yeah. This, this is the best. I should go get you smalls of those, huh? Mm -hmm. Which straw was mine? Who could wow. ever really say this it doesn't matter? I mean, this uh, is mine. Is there anything else I want to talk about Wait, on this? Does anyone want more of this? Or, I'm just, That's all you, bro. I would not mind talking about the Michael J. Fox. Okay. Do you know who Michael J. Fox is? Mm -hmm. Kind but, of. He's an yeah. actor. <laughs> He's an actor. So, Michael J. Fox has been struggling. Put the lid on this, too. 
This is like a fucking live ass time bomb. I don't know where it is. It's right there. Okay, but do you see my problem? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do see what's going on there. Just chill. Hold on. No, I'm just gonna put it in the cup holder. It's fine. Okay, dope. Are you okay? Um, so Michael J. Fox has been struggling with Parkinson's disease mm -hmm. since he was 29 and he's now in his 60s. And it has become progressively harder for him. And he recently did an interview where he's talking about like the reality of his prognosis and um, living with Parkinson's for this long mm -hmm. and what it means to be declining with Parkinson's. And one of the things that he said during the interview, which was particularly powerful, was, did I quote it here? Yes. Uh, with gratitude, optimism is sustainable. When you find something that you're looking forward to, no matter how dire your situation, you find hope. And I thought that that was such a beautiful thing that a man who's like so physically, you know, struggling with this disease, mm -hmm. for him to say that with optimism, with gratitude, you can find optimism. And I think that that's a really beautiful reminder for us to be ever grateful for the things mm -hmm. that we have. Yeah. Even in times that we're not struggling, I think in, in even times, it's the most important to arm ourselves up with gratitude. I agree. I've been trying, um, I mean, I can't relate to the Parkinson's thing because that's a whole nother level, but I do think the sentiment is profound no matter where you are in life. I've been watching, so Morgan had gone to a brain doctor once upon a time, um, over in Encino and he's really popping off on TikTok now like he or on I see him on Instagram reels but he's talking just a lot about the makeup of the brain and why we respond to things we respond to and he was talking he did like a reel that went super viral about like brain health and he was like the thing that I do every single night while I'm falling asleep is I start at the beginning of my day and I go through everything that went great that day mm. and he's like most of the times I fall asleep before I get to the end of my day but it puts me asleep in this immense state of gratitude Attitude. And he's like, you do this for two weeks and you're going to be like five times happier mm. without even realizing it. And I've been doing this now for a week and I really do think it's game changing. I love that for you. I, it's been like so incredible and it's something so simple that you can do and it puts you to sleep. Like it yeah. takes you off of thinking about any other thing that like your mind's just like turning about for no reason. Mm -hmm. And it turns it into like this wonderful thing of like, what did I find about today? That's like so beautiful. And a lot of times it's like the most simple things for me mm -hmm. that I was like, oh, that was so beautiful yeah. about today. Like, uh, yeah, like this morning, Bubba just woke up super cute. Mm -hmm. Super cute, just a little wormy boy. He, Bubba in the morning is a particularly joyful <laughs> time. Um, but I love that. And before we go, do you want to do a quick first quarter check-in? How's yeah. everybody's first quarter been? You have a good first quarter, Chris? What? First quarter crisis? Uh, it's like the first quarter of the year. Yeah. Oh. Like just checking in. With how the close of April, going. that's the first four months of the year. I see, I see, I see. So I was thinking we'd do a little quarterly check in. I think I'm doing good. I think times I don't know. I feel I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> a bit of both. Things are, I don't know, in some ways things are amazing, in some ways things are really tough, but I'm trying to focus on the good things, and moments like right now are really nice, and I'm very blessed to, this is like, this is my job, this is insane. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Being like, bullied I'm... by Lizzie? <laughs> you have to stop pushing that fucking narrative, or I'm going to start bullying you. Okay. Here they come. Do you have something profound? They're coming for me. Do you ha I have not that. reflected yet on my first quarter to give anything profound. I mean, you can reflect right now and think about it. Okay, well. Like, what was your, what was your New Year's resolution? How's it going? I don't remember if I ever set one. Interesting. So it's not going great. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but to relate back to what Chris was saying, I think that one of the interesting things about like life is finding that no matter what, it's always, it's, there's a few things happening all at the same time, all the time. So there is happiness and there is sadness and they can coexist and it's being okay with all of those things in, in, in the present moment. Yeah. So you never have to be one thing. In fact, I think it's yeah. rare to be a thing. No. It's like as I as I go through the grieving process of losing Jelly, I think about like, oh, my happiness has evolved. Right. There's a pocket of sadness and longing, and there's happiness, and there's new opportunity, and there's growth of relationships that didn't previously exist, and there's sadness of not being able to share that with a person who I've lost, or a pet, I guess, if you want to diminish her to that. <laughs> Um, so I think that that's, that's an interesting thing to find peace with. Like, oh yeah, I can be sad about something and happy in this moment. 
Yeah. And neither has to be so fucking big that it overpowers the other. I think that's like my heart. The hardest thing for me though is, is finding the balance and like and being okay with the tough things. Because the tough things are really tough. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Everything just is, and then it was, and then it's over. We're just walking our way back to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, no I one gives a fuck about my quarter. I thought you've just been blocked. No, that great. whole sentiment was yours. No, it was Chris's. It was me not bullying Chris. Okay, what's yours? Your I don't whole. Have one, you just fine. went on a two-hour spiel. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wow, I can't get out of here. Thank you for your words, Lizzie. No, Wait, was that not about you? No, that was literally about Chris. <laughs> that was literally about Chris. Okay, so what's yours? I don't have one anymore. <laughs> I was having a fine quarter, and now all of a sudden, my dismay has outgrown my okayness with a multitude of feelings at the same time. I'm so sorry that I'm an asshole. Thank you. You know what? When we're, when we're speaking about bullies and bullying, I think we all need to just like come to terms with the fact that Ryland has been bullying me for a half of a century. I can't go back through that drive-thru. <laughs> we're not doing that. I no can't. one needs to go back I through cannot that drive-thru. Base... None of us can tolerate that. Like, Should literally... we call out of one more job? No, we no, can't. We, can't. <laughs> we, we ha literally have to go home. I have to go to Costco. My first quarter's been fucking fine. I'm noticing that I lost a little bit of steam at the end of the month and got a bit of senioritis because it was my birthday, but today I'm gonna get back on my grind. A bitch doesn't have to want to do something to get it done. I'm gonna get some shit done. And uh, my personal and professional goals going into the second quarter are I'm gonna finish a couple of scripts that I need to get done and I'm gonna work on being present and focus on accepting that Ryland is my bully and bullying Chris less. <laughs> I love that for you. Thank you. I like the goals. What's for lunch? Does anyone have goals? Anyone yeah, else have a goal? Yeah, should we set goal? Ryland, do you have goals? Yeah, set a goal. <laughs> you guys. Set a goal. Set a goal. So when this. I check in at the end of the second quarter, you have something to add. Oh, that car is beautiful. I, I want to uh, upload a video to my YouTube channel. Yay! Do it, Yay, Chris. That's my goal. <laughs> upload. Upload. <laughs> you are just zooming into this crosswalk with people. All right. And with that, we'll see you next week. Follow all of us on social media. Go. Uh, subscribe to Chris's YouTube channel. Hit the bell so when he does upload, you'll know it's there. Elizabeth didn't upload this week, but she's got tons of videos for you to watch. I'll be back next week. I did a room uh, makeover video that's live on my vlog channel. Go let us know how much you hate that wallpaper. <laughs> just sound off in the comment section below. And we'll see you next Wednesday. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the it. Did you do it too, Chris? No, I always what just the thought fuck? I'm so used to being by the camera. <laughs>